Hey guys, welcome back to the Gears and Tool channel. My name's Adam, your friendly Sasquatch. And in our last video, I was doing uh, destructive testing on this little ratchet driver by Leatherman. Um, I'll put a link for that video in the description below and in the upper right hand corner of your screen. But, um, you know, I had a surprising result. I thought um, the ratchet itself was gonna break, but I ended up breaking off the tab on uh, the ratchet. And um, it got me thinking is, you know, we're doing this destructive test on this ratchet, but because if the bit adapter and the multi-tool itself can't even handle that much torque, you know, it doesn't even matter what this uh, ratchet driver will break at. So I'm suspicious that this bit adapter isn't going to be able to take the 300 inch pounds it took to shear off the tab on the ratchet driver. But that's what we're gonna to answer today. We're gonna to go ahead and clamp this in my bench vise and see if I can break this uh, adapter and if so, what torque it takes to do so. Now, I don't really wanna break my really good Leatherman Wade Plus. I've only had this one for you know maybe six months or so. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my old Leatherman Wave, which uh, has the same exact same bit adapter on it. And um, you know you can see it's the older one, doesn't have the uh, removable wire cutters, but I'm not really using this one anymore anyway, so I figured this would be a uh, good testing example. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do before we actually uh, break the bit adapter in here is I'm going to take both the Leatherman Wave and my Leatherman Surge, and I'm gonna see how much torque I can actually put into the torque wrench using this in both the screwdriver and in kind of the pistol grip method where you have a little bit longer lever in your hand. Okay, so before we head out to the workbench and start testing, I thought I'd explain how I'm gonna be doing this testing. So first I have one of these standard bit drivers from uh, Leatherman. It goes from a proprietary uh, quarter inch Leatherman end to a standard hex um, quarter inch end there. So that will just slip in the tool. And then I'm gonna take a standard Phillips head screwdriver bit because it's a nice hard metal. We're gonna put tip down so it's got um, a hex tip now. And uh, that won't slip around there. It's the same way we did the testing when we did the uh, Leatherman ratchet. And then I have this uh, just standard, you know, three quarter inch socket, which is gonna fit right over the end there. And if you'll notice, there's a slight gap in between the two there. So we know that both tools are fully engaged and not bottoming out on anything. And then we're gonna slap it on this torque wrench and start reaping on it. So now you know the plan, let's go ahead and hit the workbench. All right guys, so this is a little bit of an awkward angle, but I'm just kind of trying to do a few things with not enough hands here. But uh, what you're seeing is I have the Leatherman Wave hooked up to the adapters that I showed you inside. And then the torque wrench is clamped in my bench vise upside down, so I have a nice steady point to twist on. The objective of this is to kind of see how hard I can twist the multi-tool. Um, you know, how much torque can I personally actually impart into the tool? So what that's gonna do is kind of set the baseline for what can we expect uh, the maximum load to ever be on the bit adapter. And then from there, we'll take the Leatherman wave and we'll clamp it into the vise itself and use the torque wrench until it fails. And then twisting here, I have the wrench set to 70 foot pounds. Now that's pretty difficult. If you watch closely, you'll see the whole tool physically deflecting in my hand. You can see the tools physically deflecting at 70 foot pounds, or sorry, 70 inch pounds. So that's about all the more I can comfortably do um, with that kind of screwdriver grip. Okay, so now we have the wave and kind of a pistol grip style. So I have a little bit more meat to hang on to. And um, I have this set at 120 inch pounds and it's, I mean, really flexing in the head here, guide. I don't, yeah, I don't really wanna push the wave too much further. Um, I think if you were using this at about 120 inch pounds, you would start to feel uncomfortable with the amount the tool was, yeah, the tool is just flexing too much. So I'm gonna call it there. Um, it's kind of sharp around the pivots here on my thumb. Like I'm definitely really kind of twisting on this, guys, but I don't think the limit is gonna necessarily be your strength. Um, it's probably gonna be the tool itself and you're kind of you know, feeling it flex and move in your hand and you're gonna kind of go find the correct tool if you're putting that much torque into something. So let's go ahead and jump to the Leatherman Surge real quick to see how much I can do the pistol grip with it. And then we're gonna clamp the wave into the bench vise, change the camera angle and destroy this. Okay, so I have the Leatherman Surge here. Let's go ahead and hook it up and see how we do at the 120 inch pounds. Ooh. Okay, something just broke in there. All right, so interesting guys, I just stripped out the head of the uh, bit adapter at about 120 uh, inch pounds. Now, because I had this tipped down, a lot of this head wasn't fully engaged. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a piece of hex bar and we're gonna continue this test. All right, and we're back. And what I did is I just took a standard bit driver, uh, my uh, drill bit kit, cut up the tip and it makes a great um, kind of coupler or um, you know bridge piece, if you will. So back to our Leatherman Surge that um, 
has that deep pocket on there. We have plenty of meat on there now, it should work fine. At the 120 inch pounds, how can we do with it? Okay, not bad at all. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the torque. Okay, now we have 180 inch pounds on here. So uh, really starting to get up there. This will be the last attempt we do on the uh, Leatherman Surge before we clamp the actual wave in device. Yep, this tool is really flexing guys. So that's it for the uh, kind of uh, baseline testing. So just to recap, we got to 70 inch pounds with the uh, Leatherman Wave into the kind of screwdriver handle configuration and 120 inch pounds when using it in the pistol grip form. And then for the Leatherman Surge, we got to 180 inch pound in the pistol grip format. All right guys, we're back. We have the Leatherman Wave clamped in the bench vise, the bit adapter, and the hex bar that lets us use the ratchet. All right, so let's go ahead and do our first test at 180 inch pounds since we already know it should be able to do this. All right, so it handled 180 inch pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the torque. All right, increase the torque. By the way, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and make a prediction. I think that this is going to get to 250 inch pounds, but I don't think it's gonna be able to handle any more. We'll see if I'm right. Um, put your guess down in the comments below. Uh, again, the ratchet driver failed at 300 inch pounds, and I just feel like this little um, bit adapter down here isn't gonna be quite as strong as the tab in the um, bit driver. So let's find out. I'm guessing 250 inch pounds. All right, so we're at 220 inch pounds. All right, something just broke. So I'm gonna carefully take this off and give you a little bit closer look here. All right guys, so we're back inside. We're gonna take a closer look at how this uh, failed. And I haven't touched it. I just literally brought it back inside and we're gonna take it apart and look at it together. Um, so you can see the side of the bit adapter there actually broke completely out. It didn't um, you know, bend or anything like that. It just completely sheared out as the uh, bit inside tried to rotate through the wall. Now, if we flip it over, you can see that that side, this side was also about to fail. Um, we've got a big crack here. And then on the other side, you can see um, the impression of the edge of the bit inside. So it was clearly trying to break through this side as well. So, so it looks like the bit adapter holds the load pretty uniformly. I was a little bit surprised that it didn't break out of the end here where the spring is at. I thought that would actually be the weakest spot kind of like a big U-shape, I thought it might just open up as the bit inside rotated and spread the walls. But um, no, I'm actually surprised that it just broke the side wall right out. So what did we learn from this? Well, we learned that um, it's really hard to exceed the bit adapter's um, strength with just your hands. So again, just kind of as a baseline, using this in the screwdriver format, I was able to do 70 inch pounds. And then using this in the pistol format, I was able to do about 120 inch pounds. And then with the surge in the pistol format, um, it was able to get about 180 inch pounds. And I'm glad I stopped because that um, really was probably all the more the plier section of the tool really wanted to see. And uh, I was getting a lot of flex in the tool and um, it was definitely getting close to the limit of the bit adapter, which failed at 220 inch pounds. Coming back to why we did this experiment, which is, the ratchet driver, which failed at 300 inch pounds, it's kind of a meh, who cares? Because the thing you're gonna be using this with will only survive 220 inch pounds. So the fact that this ratchet driver works up to 300 inch pounds means it's more than sufficiently engineered. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and take this bit driver out of the bit adapter, see how hard it is, and see if there's any other debris and stuff we can see inside. All right, I'm gonna have to put this in the bench vise and pull it out, I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and took this out to the bench vise, clamped this in and uh, pulled with all my might and this thing came off, barely. <laughs> and um, we'll take a closer look at the shaft of this, but uh, you can see on the inside there, we have some metal shavings, but not nothing too crazy. But just to give you some perspective, here's my Leatherman Charges bit adapter. So you can see where it really just cracked out right on the edge of those interior walls. So if Leatherman were to make this stronger, uh, they would just beef up those sides. But in reality, I don't think they really need to. I mean, the tip of this driver here is looking pretty gnarly, guys. It was definitely put through the ringer. Um, 
it even twisted a little bit. So it took so much force to break this bit adapter, I actually twisted the end of this bit driver. And it's not real easy to see on camera. Let me see if I can, you can kind of see it though. There's definitely a cant to it. It's kind of got like a sweeping arc. It's um, a little bit crooked that way. So yeah, this, uh, this bit driver is not in new condition anymore. So considering how small that is, I, I think it's pretty well designed guys. Again, it took 220 inch pounds or 18.3 foot pounds to break it. And I couldn't even put that much force on the tool with my bare hands um, in either the closed or open configuration. Now, I'm sure that if I really, really, really reaped on it and tried, I probably could have put 200 plus inch pounds into this Leatherman way, but that's not the point. The point is, it was getting to the point where I knew it wasn't the right tool for the job. I would have stopped, gone to my toolbox, gotten the proper socket wrench or something like that. So I think it's safe to say the Leatherman bit adapter is going to handle just about any kind of standard handy work that you do. Um, if you use it a lot, you might get some fatigue damage to it, but uh, all in all, 220 inch pounds is pretty good, guys. I hope this uh, little mini series I put together with the uh, Leatherman ratchet, destroying the Leatherman ratchet, and then destroying the Leatherman bit adapter, give you some good insight into what these tools can take. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're the first to be notified when I release new videos just like this one. Cheers.